hate you. <laughs> I mumbled. Uh, this. No, you're live, right? Welcome to Breaking the Cycle, episode number what number five. Episode number five. This is Tyson. Who's we got back there? Who we got? Who's back there? Midge. Tyson and Midge. And the freak here for Breaking the Cycle, episode number five. Let's do this. Let's rock. We're going to be talking about some good stuff here today. Let me tell you, Breaking the Cycle, this is this is all about, and you can see we have different monitors and screens are all over the place, a little bit different. Let me have my seat here. Let me take, oh, we're missing one. There we go. Now we're on. We were missing the Wait, Facebook one. That one's one. not on either. That one's not on either. Did you click? We're going to click it, Mitch. So this is Breaking the Cycle, episode number five. We're on the Facebooks, the Instagrams. We are live on the YouTubes, all the other good stuff. Go. Go. All right. Episode number five. This is, this week we're going to be talking about a freak life from the freak kids perspective. We're going to hear all about it. Their perspective on life, on reflecting on life, on how they, how evaluating their life, evaluating their days. It's going to be some good stuff. This is the kind of stuff we do every night, pretty much at the end of the night. We do what we talk about, the things that we do. What is a freak? What, is, what does life mean to a freak kid? And this is what we are talking about. There, we're up on the Facebooks, the Instagrams. But anyway, breaking. What are you doing? It's like 1970s dance or something? Breaking the Cycle is a live show on, on how to be a positive male role model and lead your freak family, as I'm looking around to all the different, by breaking the cycle and changing the trajectory of your family tree so you can become the type of man that one day your son would want to become and be the type of man that one day your daughter would want to marry. That type of role model mindset. That's what this is all about in Breaking the Cycle. And, and let me tell you, these are these are the kind of conversations you should be having with your kids, and so they can learn to think for themselves, and they're not afraid to think for themselves. Not just only being told what to do and how to think by their school and 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 whatever else, and and the internet and the athletes thinking for them fucking selves. It's a, it's a real rare concept these days. So that uh, eventually. When, when they're confronted with real life situations that they're not in shock and they're not thrown off and they're prepared and ready to deal with whatever life throws at them with their own freak approach. Guys, so, want a joke? Already? Jesus. We don't, we, we don't, we can't get into a joke already. Let me change my seat here. Okay. We're sitting there. Scoot over there a little bit. No, scoot like here. Okay. You have a joke? You scoot over to it now. Scoot back. That there a little bit. What, All right. What, what's your joke? What do you get when you cross Marines and a zebra? Stars and stripes. I got a joke. Oh, no. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. We have the same joke. Okay, whatever. Bro. What do you got? Why did the frog take the bus to work today? His car got towed away. This, show, this episode is a disaster already. His car got towed away and we got stars and stripes. Here on Breaking the Cycle. This is just next some next level comedy shit right here. But before we get into it, let's just do a recap of... We have our freak code. You can see... I think you can see on some of those up there. This whole banner up there. This Eckert Freak Family. Facebook can't see it. But the, the Instagrams and the YouTubes can see it. It's, it's our freak code, our freak family code, our freak family core values and, and the key words and each one of them has a description really up there, but it's discipline, it's energy, it's attack, it's mind, it's body, it's mission, it's listen, it's create, it's win, confidence, protect, and of course, freak. 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 What's up, freaks? What was that? Freak. Nice face. You have to do it with that face? Freak. I don't know if I could do that face. Freak. Freak. Yeah. So Freak. part of what we do every every night, we do our nighttime journaling. We do reflection. And we kind of rate our day in specific areas. And we're going to get to that in a second. But before we even do that, just recently, we, we when we're doing that nighttime reflection, we talk about, talk about our scores, talk about our results. We talk about life in general. Like people don't talk to their kids about just 
fucking like real world stuff, like life stuff. So we did this experiment one time along. This is like maybe, I don't even know, two, no more than two, three, four years ago, five years ago in one of our businesses in the gym in New York. And just go around to everyone in the room and, and on the spot, take them away side by side, one at a time. And I've done this at workshops too. And some of the crazy shit I've heard in some of the workshops doing this, you don't do it in front of the group because you want them to have original answers. And I want to ask you this right now. I want you to, at, at home, I want you to complete this sentence. Complete this sentence. You hear me? Complete this sentence. With the first thing that comes to mind to, to complete this sentence, to complete this phrase. All right? I want you to complete it. Life is a blank. And don't say anything yet. We'll go into what you, you two came up with. Life is a what? What's the first thing that comes to your mind to complete that sentence? Not the first thing that comes to your mind because that's just idiotic and we're going to talk about that in a second. But what's the first thing that pops in your mind to complete the sentence? Life is a... And let me tell you, on the spot, without thinking about it, this will tell you a lot about someone. It'll tell you a lot about someone, whether they are, what, positive or what? Negative. Negative, by according to the answer they get. Like, you know, I met someone one time, a relative of one of yours. We'll talk about it real quick. The first thing they told me when I met them was life is brutal. That was the introduction. Like, hey, how you doing? Great to meet you. And the response was life is brutal. It doesn't matter who it is. We're not, we, don't, we know we don't say names and things like that because why don't we say names? So. What did the person say on the recording? The robot? The robot. Oh, my God. Snitches end up in ditches. You don't even know your own damn lines. I have to like tell all your stories for you. Unbelievable. Come in prepared. Snitches end up in ditches. So we don't talk about names. We talk about situations, stories. We share stuff, but it doesn't matter where it came from, who said it. But I met someone one time. Said, hey, how you doing? Great to meet you. Glad to finally meet you. Heard so much about you. And the response was, life is brutal. Right off the bat. That tells you about kind of where that mind frame of that person's coming from. Why do you say it with an accent? I know who it is by the way you're saying it. That's a little bit of a hint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I already know. Good catch. Know. Good I, catch. I knew it the second you All said right, it. enough, First enough. Time. We don't want to snitches end up in ditches, right? So, what's so funny over there? <laughs> huh? It's about the brutal Yeah. So, you can learn a lot about someone when they say it. So, and, and we did this years ago, but we just been recently talking about it. We thought about it'd be a great thing to talk about on the show because we think you sh out there should do that for yourself, for your family, for your employees, for your team, but especially for your kids. What are your kids going to come up with when you say life is a, or life is, depending on how they want to do it. It doesn't matter. You can say life is a, and the word doesn't have to fit that sentence. You know what I mean? Like Midge's word is life is. Right? And so let's say, let's go Tyson first. Life is a good life. That was his answer. That ha he did actually on the spot. I was doing a workshop. We lived in New York and we visited out here in California. He would, we would cut him out of school. I mean, he was feeling sick or something. So he would travel with me for like a week to come do these workshops in California because he was sick. With the coronas. <laughs> with the coronas. He was sick. So he would travel with me for like a week and help me out in the workshops. He would learn a lot more in the workshops we were doing. Then he was probably going to learn in the school anyway. But that's besides the point. That's a whole other episode, which you're learning in school, which you're, you're, you're kind of caught off in that one if you want to move over a little bit. I think you move over too much. So I was doing this with a group in person that we were coaching. It was a, a, a mastermind group that we were coaching in California. I flew out from New York and we were coaching. And... I, so I took each person from the group. It was like 20 people or whatever. We, I took them one by one into a side a side room, a, a little offset room. Because you don't want to do it in front of the other group because then people start getting ideas. You don't, want, you don't want them to know what to expect. They have too much time to think about it. You wanted to get an immediate answer. Like literally, they have to say it right away. Zero hesitation. So I took them in one by one. And Tyson never even, I think it might have been the first time we ever did this. And, and I said, to, I yelled it to Tyson because he was in the back of the room. He was keeping attendance. He did handwritten cards for each of the attendees. He handed them out wristbands and brought, showed them to their seats. He was like my little uh, right-hand man, assistant helper on my travel business trips. And I yelled to the back of the room. I said, Tyson, life is a 
And his answer was good life right away. It just popped in right on the fly, right in front of all these people. That was after they all had went just to kind of see what his was going to be. So his was life is a good life. Mitch, life. And, and, and you could say it life is a, and maybe the word doesn't fit proper grammar because the way, you know, you'll see what I mean. Life is a water. Water. So it could also see life is a water. You wouldn't say water, but life is water or life is like water. Like Forrest Gump. You two never watched Forrest Gump, did you? What's that? He says, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to (laughs) get. I don't think it wasn't a true story, but he was like a runner and an astronaut or something and like a world-class ping pong. It's a good movie. You should watch it with Tom Hanks. So life is what? Good life. Life is a good life and life is? Water. So I'm going to say, and then mine was? And, and I had two. It was like one and then it had a secondary one. So mine was life is a playground. And then also right after that, I said like a gym, like a playground, a gym, like a gym, like a working out, a gym, because it is to me, that's what life is. Think of a playground, a gym to me is the same thing. It's just an open space, an open place to do your thing, to play, to have fun, but also to take, be serious, to have focus, to set goals, to have intention, but attack it with fun and freedom However you want, whatever way fits you, however you want to do it. It's just a fucking playground and not taking shit too serious, which is why if you see, I have a very strong superpower that these two little freak shows have taken over, as you can see in their tremendous jokes, is a, a superpower of sarcasm, a superpower of when shit could be so Being bad. Being a comedian. Thanks for the update, kid. Be, be, kind of point. Yeah, good job. Well, well, you wouldn't say it. So Sarca- say sarcastic, it. yeah. So... That's a superpower. Like, no matter how shitty a situation could be, we could be doing something that sucks. I'm talking sucks. In the military, the Marine Corps was the same thing. The worse the situation, the higher levels your level of sarcasm goes. It's almost like a superpower to make that ter- make that shitty situation and flip the script and throw the shit on its head and make it a better situation almost. Like, make it not so bad. Make it from tragedy to triumph to, to something more fun and just not taking shit so serious. Not taking... Other people so serious. Not taking yourself so serious. Not taking life so serious. Right? You guys sarcastic? Very. Very. Yeah. One time Tyson even said life is a joke. (laughs) (laughs) Everything in life is a joke, he said. He said that or did you say that about him? Because he does do that. Everything he... His sarcasm... His sarcasm is like on a different level than mine. Like, mine is is situational. His is like fucking permanent. He's just a... He's like... Permanent just wise ass. He's purposely doing it. Yeah. That library is the best because library is so boring, but... So library is when you're being the most sarcastic. You're supposed to be studying and reading an encyclopedia or some shit. What? No. The, the, Do you know what an encyclopedia is? It's like no. some words, you know. Some words are in it. You don't even know what an encyclopedia is. Encyclopedia is what Google basically is now. Like everything in the world would just... You have to look it up alphabetically in an encyclopedia. Like a you want dictionary? To find, that is sad. It's like a different level. Dic- dictionary is just words and definitions. This is like... If you want to know, I don't even know it. Everything. Google. Google. Google.com was in books and books how, how? and books and book. No, it would be like this thick and like hundreds of them for everything in the world. So if you had a question, you have to go to the library and then. You'd have to go through these row of cards and find out where to find that information and then find the book and find the page that had that card. That's how you would Google shit. It would take you about five hours to get done what you get done now in about. To ask one single question. Yeah. And zero. Yeah. 0.9999666447 yeah. It tells you how seconds. quick sometimes your searches are. Google used to tell you how quick your search was to show you how fast they're giving you the results. But that's also, it's a, that's a good thing, but it's also a bad thing because now people rely too much. They want the easy way out. They don't want to work hard for anything. They want something for nothing. They don't want to go the extra mile and stuff, right? So sometimes that easy way is not the only way. Sometimes you got to figure shit out on your own and, and put in some wave, damn work. Wave, 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 no, we're not wave, waving. Wave, no, 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 no. Wave, wave, wave. wave. Only creeps wave. Creeps and white bands wave. No one who who still clicks. Why do they even have the option here on Facebook? And it's to white. wave. It's white. To wave. They still have the option to wave on Facebook. That's like on MySpace. If you whoever used MySpace you used to have the poke option and used to poke. If you poke uh. on MySpace or if you wave on Instagram, you probably have a white van and you're a creep. Like the ones we see creeping by, and when they do, we all lock and load when the creepy white vans come by. But anyway, let's talk about which is a lot. Yeah, a lot of white vans in this neighborhood for some reason. I don't know why. But very nice people. Today was walk to school day, and the school posted online that that all the children are going to be walking to school. 
Like, why would you do that? That's just like ringing a dinger bell for... A dinner bell for the creeps of the earth. <laughs> so they posted it. Let's put it all over the world. It's, it's children walk to school day. Awesome. So all you perverts and, and, and child molesters and creeps and kidnappers, it's like Halloween for the creeps. It's like another Halloween. It's like Christmas Day. It's like their birthday here. The kids are going to be all walking to school by themselves. All right, so we've done this in our in all the different businesses. We've done this in workshops, all this stuff with life is a, and it tells you a lot about people. Someone that says life is a struggle. Life, you want to know what one of the most common? You know the ones, this is the one that you know someone is just going through the motion in life. They think it's a clever answer. They say life is a journey. That's a, You get a lot. Life is a journey. 25 to like 30, 40% say life is a journey. Sounds like a good answer, but I'm telling you, who keeps kicking and clicking over here? Uh-oh. He just snitches what? end up in ditches. Snitches end up in ditches. Bury there's, her. There's a ditch in our backyard. Excellent. So. I, just, I don't know what's in there or what was buried in there. Just. Oh, dang it. That was our last house. We don't have one That's to talk about the ditches that we put buried people in the backyard. Damn it. What? What? You just said that. All right. Go on. Go on. Nice face. So, we've done this before, and you learn a lot about people by what their answer is to life is a whatever. We've had some interesting answers. And <laughs> we did this in our gym back in New York at one time. And you guys were there. And because you were there, and they'd, be, they'd be a lot of our staff meetings. They'd be in the gym all the time. They grew up in the gym. That's why they're little freak shows now. But what was one of the words that you remember? Midge, do you remember one of the words that someone, someone came up with? Yeah, wait, can you ask me the full question? Just give me one of them. Life yeah. is a? Yellow. What in the ever-living fuck does life is a yellow mean? Like, what does that mean? Like, I'm, if I really, life is yellow, then... But that, still, it doesn't make sense at all. The yellow could mean, like, down, but that's not even... It just meant a... a it, Blue was, it didn't even... It had no life meaning. Life is a yellow. It had no meaning. What was the other one, Tice? Life is a? Burrito. Burrito. Extra cheese. These are answers we got sometimes. Life is a yellow. Life is a burrito. Like, so the purpose of this is to, to kind of see your view, your big perspective, the way that you vision life, whether it's a, a positive, negative, struggle, hard, easy, fun, whatever. What is your way of looking at life? Nice face back there. So if you can't grasp that concept, when I, if I say, all right, say the first word that comes to your mind to complete this sentence. It doesn't mean the first word. All right, let's let's put let's use that mentality. Maybe life is a candle because she sees a candle. So that's the first word that came to mind. It had nothing to do with the sentence. That's the mentality of life is a burrito. Life is yellow. Those are people who are just completely on the wrong path in life and just lost. That can't even comprehend how to how to do the simple exercise that she literally did this when she was I don't know four and understood it. Like that's some scary shit right there. Life is a Chair. Chair. He had to think about that. That's pretty sad. You had to think about it. There's everything in front of you. Life is a microphone. Life is a tablet. Life is a wire. Life, life is, is a, a letter. Life is a letter. Life is a pin. A pin. Whatever. See, the, that's there's some lost fucking souls in this world that can't even comprehend help. that the point is to, at least if you're miserable and depressed, you can say life is a depression. At least it's an answer and, and comprehending the point of it. So life is a journey is one of the scapegoats. People think that. They think they're going to get off the hook. And I never accept that as an answer. I say, nope, give me another one. Because then, they, then, the, then the truth comes out. Life is a journey. That's the common one. And people are just trying to go through the motions, trying to cover up some bullshit or whatever else. The other one is where you know, the other common one, life is a bitch. What? You think That's common? Yes, very common. Why? Life is a bitch. Like, ah, oh, shit. Like, life sucks. Life is hard. Life is a struggle. Life. I is feel brutal. truly sorry for some people. Like, you should. Like when we're walking. I mean, when we're driving somewhere. Like I saw, I see some people walking, and I just question myself. Like, what do those people do in life? Like, you know what they do in life? Yellow, burrito, burrito extra cheese without the e with in the extra. Huh. You know how some people say extra. Anyway, who's got a joke for us? Oh, I got a joke for you. What? Why did the Clyde sale say? Why are you talking like this? We can't tell what you're saying. From the wharf. 
<laughs> what? What did he even say? What's the joke? Why did the Clydesdale give the pony some water? His voice was a little hoarse. Oh, I got a joke. Oh, and I, I will have joke. one more horse joke. Oh, my God. Where do you bring a sick horse to the hospital? Okay, I got one. What do you get? Hold on, I'm still processing those two horse jokes. Okay, I, I'm not ready for more. What do you got? What do you get when you cross a jiu-jitsu black belt and an arm? Snap, crackle, pop. Every joke leads to very <laughs> uncomfortable silence. Sometimes silence is good. Sometimes silence is very <laughs> uncomfortable. That's one of those uncomfortable times. One more. No, no. we'll get to one later. We got to keep rolling. We got to get going. We have we have calls to get onto. We got to make sure we keep this show flowing for the freak shows out there. All right. So life is a ask yourself that, ask your team that, ask your kids that. See what they're gonna come up with on the spot. If you're asking three people, don't ask them all in the same opening setting because after the first person, number two and three are gonna have a chance to think about it. You don't want them to have the chance to think about it. You want to have it on the spot. So because separate maybe, them. Take maybe them. They'll listen to the other person's answer and do that just because they heard You're it. the queen of explanations. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's like Joe Biden saying the yeah. truth over facts. Yeah. And we we don't talk it. much about politics down here, but yeah, we get what you're saying. Yeah. I truth want over, to do my truth over facts. Can I say my explanation of that? No. Dang it. You, you don't have to explain obvious stuff sometimes. Like, we understand truth and facts are the same thing. That's what you want to say. How could it be truth or facts if truth are facts? Yeah. You need the facts to get the truth. You're trying to rationalize. Never mind. It's a whole other topic. So what do we do with this stuff? So now life, life is A. This is what our perspective on life. This is the way they see life. He says life is a good life. She says life is water. So I explain why life is a playground. Life is a gym to me. It's just a wide open space to do what I want. Have freedom. Have personal freedom. Do it my way. Train my way. Live my way. Think my way. Do whatever the fuck I want to do. Live life on my own motherfucking terms. And life is a playground. Life is a gym. That's the way I see it. Are you mocking me? when I, You know this camera that I can see you. Because I'm looking this way, you little Polak. I can see you right there. Even though you're a little bit behind me. Mm -hmm. So you, what does life is water mean to you? It's just that. Life flows like water. You're just going with the flow? Yeah. I like Not it. Much. I like it. Anything else to add to it? <laughs> nice face. <laughs> I like it. Life is a water. You're just flowing like or water. Life just going with it, right? You're, you're gonna... Yeah, or life is liquid. Technically, any liquid flows. So. But what about what liquid. could happen to water? Sometimes it can get rocky and bumpy. You could fall in the water. You can drown, right? That could still happen. Yep. What do you do if you if what if you what if your 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 boat tips over and you're still in the water? What do you do? Keep on swimming. Keep on Figure swimming. it out, right? Yep. Figure it out. F I O. Figure it out. I like it. F I O. Hell yeah. Figure it out. You go with the flow. Go with the flow. And listen, sometimes it, it might be rocky, but guess what? You just go with the flow. You trust the process. I love it. Life is a river. I fucking love it. Good stuff. Life is a what? Good life. All right. What does that mean to you? Explain. Explain it. It means like. I get to make money. I get to go places. I get little to shit's first thing is make money. What a little shit. Anyway, I, I like it. Shit, I like I like I like the way you're I like the way you're thinking. I get to do things how I want to do them. I give me a fist bump. Oh, double fist bump. And life is just good. Not brutal. Not brutal. And sometimes it could be, but. No. But still, what do you, when it turns brutal, what do you do? How, what do you do to it? If life, if, if a day is brutal or something is brutal, what do you do? You feel it. Feel it. <laughs> F I O it. You jump in the fuck. You jump in the river. You go with the flow. You combine all of ours together. You take the good. The, the, you know, a good life is the life in the river, the life in the playground, the life in the gym. That is a good life. Like sometimes life shit is shit. Shit does go wrong, right? Shit doesn't go the way you want. Like the twelve foot. Halloween thing we're supposed to go get for the front lawn. This 12-foot skeleton zombie thing we're supposed to get. And it was sold out. Turns out, we thought it was going to be easy to get. Turns out everyone wants that damn thing. And, it's and like, for the rest of the day, he was depressed. Over missing it. Because sometimes life doesn't go your way. But then you t tell yourself, what? Life is a good life. Life is a good life. And you get over that shit. You realize how fucking good life. How life is awesome. Today is awesome. I am fucking awesome. That's what you remind yourself. And you forget that you didn't get the 12-foot thing that's going to be on your front lawn that's going to be looking in your window at nighttime, this 12-foot freaking statue. And it's eyes. 
light on. They're like they're like screens, his eyes, like actual digital screens. We gotta go check see if they're back in stock. I'm not even telling you where they are because you'll go get and them. And also that day, and you'll I was and they'll get sold them. out again if they're there. And it was like 350 bucks, but if you want to get it online, they had some. I don't even think they were available anymore. It was like two thousand dollars. Like it's crazy how they marked that shit up. But whatever, supply and, and demand. So like how I said, life is water. Say, say one day you fall in the water and you don't know how to swim, then you start drowning, and that's like. That's where it gets brutal. You just need to, well, figure it out. So then maybe you're with your friends and they know how to swim. They could teach you really quick. So then. Sometimes getting help, get right? Yeah. Asking for help. Hey, sucker, I'm drowning here. Throw me a life vest. Oh, thanks. And one day maybe you have to throw someone else a life vest. Sometimes helping people. Sometimes asking for help, right? Yes. In the water. You but can. you're always flowing. You're always going flow. Always moving forward, right? Never getting stuck. Yeah. And if you get stuck, what if there's a beaver dam that's in your way? And you're flowing down your river, flowing down your Just water. Get out of the river. Go over it, through it, around it, whatever you gotta do, but keep moving freaking forward, right? I like it. Say Was it river or water? Original. Water? Water. Water. Just flowing so, like water. Just say, just say you asked your friend for help, say, with your homework. And soon you have already mastered your homework and the friend that you just made hasn't mastered it yet then what you learn from your other friends now can be your thing to teach somebody else holy shit you lost me a hello i gotta replay the replay and see what that is because that's even too deep for me hell yeah <laughs> freak show all right so listen and, and this is also a way to think about it. you revisit this and this doesn't, nothing says it has to stay the same forever. You could change what it is. If, if today you say life is a bitch, maybe six months from now, you reevaluate and be like, you know what? Life is all right. Then maybe six months after that, you work on yourself, you work on this stuff and prove you say life is fucking awesome. Hell maybe yeah. Maybe even in, in just today, maybe even tomorrow you'll say it's flipping awesome. Hell yeah. I like that. Don't forget six months, right? Turn that shit around now. Wait, why wait yeah. six months? Can you snap your fingers? I could. You can't whistle. Yeah, I can. Oh. I could snap. Here. No, my hands are so sweaty. I could whistle. <laughs> this is how I whistle. Whist. 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 And whenever he does that, we know it's our turn to come over to him. I just walk around the store when I can't find you and I just go whist. Whist. It's like, it's like a whistle for your dog. <sighs> just call yourself dogs, but I can snap. Snap fingers viciously and violently. I feel like I'm going to break my finger when I snap it because it goes so quick. Did you know that when you do a snap, the sound isn't actually... Our, ba our babysitter taught us this. The sound isn't actually that your fingers are sliding together. It's actually your finger hitting your hand. You're a little scientist today, huh? All right. All right. So... Anything you want to want to take us home with to finish off this episode today? One more uh, joke. What, what you got for us? What do you call shoes made of bananas? Banana? It's a I banana. Mean, you two talk like hillbillies. You don't have your. You lost your New York voice. Banana. Is it banana or banana? It's a banana. It's not I mean, a banana. Sorry, I said the joke. Banana. Sorry, I said the joke. Oh man. What kicking that. do you? What do you call? Shoes made of banana peels. Not bananas. Banana peels. What? Slippers. 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 What is that smell? It smells like butt foot and corn chips. What do we got? Anything to take us home with, Tice? joke oh. the hell's wrong with you two I well i gotta go sit the thing any other joke you want to add then while i'm going to shut this down uh, i got a joke hi you don't have a joke yeah he's out of jokes oh, oh i got a joke oh, no what i know can i please say it please 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 you're please. fans of your what? jokes out on the instagrams wait, wait, which joke the, there was news at the school about a lot of kidnappings. Hey, that's my joke. But don't worry, they all woke up. Hey, I, I switched that up. He, he 
He he took my joke. Um. No. Okay, I got I got another joke. How did the celebrities stay cool? They got so many fans. When you talk like that, no one can hear you. They got so many fans. I still don't hear you. Got another one. You're wasting all your jokes. Done. All right. Anything you want to now for Dang. real? Take it home with. No. children i can't imagine where to get it from we gotta roll we will see you next time this has been breaking the cycle episode number five you are fucking awesome. awesome no excuses